I hope the Oscars shake things up. Okay. It's been a pretty un like it's been an anticlimactic awards season this year. Maybe there just weren't enough great films. Well, no, there were. There were. Clearly not if there's one clear winner in each category. Yeah, no. Did you see Nyad? No. Did you see, you saw the holdovers? I did. Yeah. Nyad is 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 those two together are great films. You've seen poor things. Mm-hmm. 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 I'd, Barbie's not gotten near the level of respect it should have gotten. Not to Indians' opinion. Yeah. They did not like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Margot Robbie. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your sports and Patreon for all sort of guns. Indeed. Like Indeed. Indeed. And this is, Indeed. A, this is a little video. Indeed. Um, Indeed. Beyond, it's called Beyond Malayalam Cinema, Beyond uh, Priam, Bangalore Days, and Vaz Vasil um, by Vishal Menon. He's, uh, so he's going to go over the Malayalam industry in a little, it's an interview with him. We've seen a lot of his videos. But he's interviewing this Malayalam, I don't know who he is in the industry, but kind of goes over a little bit of some history and okay. uh, w- where uh, kind of the current changes happened. <laughs> He's been around. 2000, 2011. Now we'll get to, you know, all of the uh, movies, you know, the recommendations that, you know, that you you should give us and everything. But who are the people, who are the main filmmakers, writers, actors who kind of started oh. this renaissance uh, movement in 2010, 2011 period? Yeah, so these guys were already there. Uh, 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 you know, in, in fact, the irony is, uh, if you talk about the, those list of those films that uh, the director who made Raja Mahakim, right, uh, Anwar Rashid, uh, he kind of completely changed that part of the mid-2000s because Mamuti started acting in those movies, right? Of course, I love a lot of them. I'm not saying I, I, yeah. those films are beneath me or anything like that. I love some of them. Uh, but Anwar Rashid actually has been very instrumental even in the 2010s. Uh, mm. Like he directed Ustad Hotel, uh, you mm. know, he would have produced to, uh, he's a, I think he's the uh, one of the producers or the producer of Bangalore film. Days. So uh, uh, he produced Premam. So the guy who made Raja Manikim kind of is a really big part of the guy who kind of changed Malayalam industry in the 2010s. Uh, along with Anwar Rashid is uh, Ashik Abu. And then of course, then you have Amal Nira. Even he had uh, kind of made movies in the 2000s, but it felt like these guys are making the movies they originally wanted to make or something like that in the 2010s. Along with them, we had some of the like, like directors like, you know, uh, Anjali Menon, she made a couple of films. Even even directors, like the older directors like VK Prakash, Sanjit, uh, Satyanandika, they, they all, you felt like they were like at least doing something different. Like mm-hmm. Ranjit Aran is a completely transformed director when it, com- when it comes to his later years. Uh, Lijo, of course, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Amen or whatever. He, I should, I really like. I remember going to the theater watching this movie called Nayakar, uh, his first movie. Hmm. It's a very, I mean, it, I don't, I don't love the movie or anything, but it was a fascinating movie. There's something interesting going on in that movie. Uh, and then when he made City of God, I'm like, dude, this guy is like gonna kill it. You know, like hmm. by that time, if he was a company, I would have bought stocks. You know, you <laughs> kind of knew that. You know, it had reached that point. And then with uh, Amen, with Amen, when he made Amen or whatever, then you know that this guy is like another level so uh, so but even though those are like slightly later like closer to mid 2010s hmm. uh, you feel like that that ecosystem had already been created within like by 2011 2012 13 uh, there was another movie called tattatin mariyathu which is a, oh. a very like, very nice feel good movie but it looked very <laughs> fresh no, it's a very fresh looking like uh, uh, rom com or whatever you want to call it, with yeah. new actors and beautiful music and all that. So that ecosystem system got created very quickly within that 2013-14 phase. And by the time uh, Lijo kind of hits his mark with like kind of he had he had a massive flop. Okay, he had a like a legendary flop called Double Barrel, like an yeah. expensive flop. Yeah. Mm. So after that, he kind of came back and kind of not reinvent because Amen is also a great movie, but uh, when he made uh, Angamali Diaries, and I think around that year or the next year, Mahesh Pradigaram kind of came. 
uh uh you know and kamati padam came uh, rajiv we mm. had to made two movies before that uh, then you got th- this this trio right this trio of like really wonderful like malayalam directors who kind of uh, who are really uh, like bigger than kerala like mm. uh, even of course alphonse putran no Alfo- yeah. these four or five guys are those really those those four or five malayalam directors who kind of took it to the next level oh, those yeah. are filmmakers right okay so now yeah. imagine that Just imagine I'm like this North Indian guy, okay? Or someone who's not from mm. Kerala who doesn't know about Malayalam cinema at all. He just he uh, I I just come to know that uh, there's something called Bangalore Days. I watch it. Then there's Prema. I watch it. Uh, so for someone like me who doesn't know much but who wants to get into Malayalam cinema, I would imagine that before going to the classics, correct me if I'm wrong. Before going into the mm. classics, I should start with the contemporary uh, uh, this thing, contemporary movies. just like a mm. like a gateway drug kind of right mm. so mm. in in that case what are some of the movies that i have to watch like give me like a malayalam cinema startup pack mm. of yours if you have i'll start with uh, like of course all the films that you mentioned uh, mm. uh, like ustad hotel bangalore days uh, tatta cinema rate uh, uh, kumbhalangi nights you know mm. Uh, mm. maybe north 24 kadam which is kind mm. slightly uh, underrated in that sense tondi mudalam jrakshi kamati padam uh, mm. uh, premam of course uh, maybe neram because he made neram before premam uh, you know uh, of course joji which just came yeah. out nyan prakashan just watch fafa of course watch hell yeah. <laughs> survival thriller oh no, we haven't uh, seen that one about about a, about a girl who gets stuck in a freezer it's releasing in hindi also pretty soon but it's like a good place to start uh, then there is this movie i really love called shutter it released in tamil but i think it was a like a flop kind of a thing it's a I, 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 shutter is basically i don't want to reveal much but it's basically about this family man who gets stuck in a shutter like a like a shop uh, oh with, another person he shouldn't be stuck who should who shouldn't be there with him uh, then of course the two drishams uh, then there is a, a movie called kali okay dulkar's kali which is a ultra stressful movie like i i get i i get, i i get it's very anxiety inducing yeah 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 anxiety inducing movie so that's another uh, good thriller uh, varathan is another <laughs> thriller like that you know it's a home invasion thriller which is again you know like uh, like crazy exciting ezra it's not a thriller mm. per se it's like a horror movie but just just think about it. it's a malayalam movie uh, that deals with like jewish ghosts and all those kind of things like there's a synagogue in it you know there's a, a there's a portion that's set in the 40s or 50s or something like that so it's like even in the horror genre it's not like a a basic horror film it's mm. trying something unique you know and there's this whole nuclear explosion angle a nuclear waste angle and all that so the even even that is like a unique like weird quirky movie that you can watch three films may are from these different directors why don't we take each yeah. director and yeah. the best films by him like if we can start with adur right i i think i've watched three of his films uh, one yeah. is uh, um, like vidyan uh then there's this movie a film yeah. called a uh, madhulagal Anand- yeah madhulagal i watched Anandaram. that is yeah, yeah, yeah. anandaram got yeah, recommended uh, a lot yeah. after that uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah after the wall, is got recommended my like <laughs> one of one of my all time favorites once again because yeah yeah such a beautiful looking film that to set within like like a prison this was something i yeah. watched love, like late love, last love. year but hmm. one thing i want to ask about adur is um for me it holds up even now right uh yeah. what was the reception of uh, these movies back uh, back in the you know the late 80s and 90s like um, was were they considered like parallel cinema like that by the people who were watching it that time or was it like any mm. other movie did they do well and uh, was it easily accepted by people see he was always celebrated okay he mm. made this movie in the in 73 or 74 called swayamaram which mm. everybody like every it's, it's a very accessible kind of a film everybody should watch it and there's a lot of good writing on swayamaram that's written in english like a lot of pdfs that you can read about the film to understand how like why it's so, such a great film so right from swayamaram adur was like everybody was very proud of adur everybody is like okay malayalam cinema is very seriously like malayalam cinema is kind of 
traversed boundaries because of Adur. But 90% of the people who know Adur and read his interviews and spoke about him would have not probably never watched uh, one of his films. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that was generally kind of the kind of, like at that time or whatever, everybody knows Adur, everybody takes pride in the fact that Adur is a Malayali filmmaker, but they've maximum watched one or two films. That's mm-hmm. that's how it was at that time, you know, mm-hmm. uh, because I remember like 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 uncles and like people when you watch those movies on Sundays and all that, the second is an Adur film, you know, the films that will play with those uh, uh, hard-coded Arabic and Hindi subtitles and all that, they'll change it because they're not ready to watch that kind of a film, you know, mm-hmm. and this is generally a joke, like generally like uh, there's a joke like if, if somebody like for instance if, if you ask somebody to get you something from that table and the, that guy takes a really long time to get you that from the table they like only on the adur film like that <laughs> the joke is like if you take some time a little extra time to do something they'll kind of compare you with an adur film and stuff like that but but if you're asking me if they commercially made money and all that like definitely not like how do i tell you in in uh, like anu eager is the smallest theater in Iga, right like yeah. like that there is a theater called sangeeta in kochi it's sarita the biggest savita and sangeeta the tiniest these yeah. are all films these are all sangeeta films you know <laughs> so it's right. like they will get a release which itself is a big deal because these guys are superstars of their area their zone you know hmm. but it's definitely not like you know vanaprastham i remember vanaprastham is i think just a film before narasimha or something like that it released in 2000 And mm-hmm. Mohanlal, with all his might and the fact that he got a national award and all that, nobody went to watch that movie, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Nobody went to watch because they know that it's like a Shaji and Karun movie, uh, like he's a Kathakali artist. And it just didn't matter to them, you know? Mm-hmm. So these films, they might watch it if it comes on the TV. Uh, then people like us, like the, 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 those, like those people who take cinema seriously, they, of course, would have watched it. when it uh, with cds or some cassettes and all that but it's not like a generally like everybody is watching adur movies every day it's not like that it's not yeah. like satyajit ray or anything in in calcutta it's not like a it's not like everybody is watching it but i think personally like whoever is watching or listening right don't uh, don't get scared of you know uh, like how vishal described in the sense of course it is difficult to get into if you if you're not familiar with malayalam cinema if you're not a little bit open to experiencing other things uh, like if you want to listen to my personal recommendation please please watch uh, madalagal and yeah. vidyan especially um, yeah. madalagal is a very straightforward story there is not uh, you don't have to it is political also if you want to think a little extra about it it but you'll 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 just enjoy it if you um, if you don't think about subtext and all of those things vidyan on the other hand it's a little intense it has uh, you know mamoti playing this zamindar right he's like a he's like a landlord yeah, kind yeah. of a thing landlord, um yeah. yeah so this film i just suggest watch it um watch it on one side but on the other hand just keep in mind the things that are going on right now uh Sorry, in the sense with the government i don't know it depends also on which side mm. of which side you're leaning towards honor. and everything mm. if you want to understand the subtext but if you are little mm. towards the left leaning side uh you'll understand that movie much better and then it is so amazing that he made such a movie so much before uh that is still so relevant right now so whoever wants to check out adur's movies all of them are on youtube with a pretty good print or actually a really good print everything with subtitles really good subtitles so just check them out so yeah sorry uh the other directors like oh i oh, think okay. somebody cut this up because it's an hour long interview okay. um all together so it's a, a deep dive into malayalam <laughs> cinema which is great yeah um <laughs> no shock that mamudi's name was mentioned and fafa fafa is <laughs> constantly um <laughs> uh, there'll never be another mamudi but fafa's like and ljp that's not a not a shock either yeah um and i guess that's why like who who before that's a question i i, I think i've asked before who was there before mamudi and mohanlo you know in the beginning was mamudi and mohanlo and uh they created malayalam cinema yeah and they created malayalam <laughs> cinema and it was good i know because obviously it's been around but maybe that's also why the golden era of from what i hear is like late 80s to 90s for malayalam cinema which is why i i changed it yeah but it, i would like to know what are the precursors to that because obviously it's been around yeah, long before that they have old films yeah. but you just don't hear about them as no. much as you hear 
Maybe it's, it's almost like the industry began with Mamudi and Mahanlo. Maybe. Yeah. Um, and then obviously now it's really taken off, I think. I think it's true. And obviously we're still incredibly new to this and ignorant of the history. But my suspicion is that the larger audience of India and then the larger audience of the international community became aware of Malayalam cin cinema because of Mamudi and yeah. Mohanlal. Mamudi and Mohanlal walked so Fafa could run. Yeah. <laughs> Not that yeah. Mamudi or yeah. uh, Mohanlal are walking. No, but no. <laughs> they, they made the clearing of, of, you know, knocked down all the trees that made the road for Fafa to run Because they are most on. definitely still running, both of oh, them. Oh, yeah. Without, <laughs> without any question. Um, we, um, we haven't seen it, right? What? A film with Fafa and Mohanlal? I mean, uh, Fafa and uh, Mamudi? Not, not to my knowledge. I don't think so. Am I forgetting? If we did, it may have been one of the earlier films of Fafas that I've forgotten that because we 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 didn't know Mamudi at all back then. Uh, film stars Mamudi and title role with Fahad Fasil and yeah, we didn't see that. Did it's we? called Emmanuel. Emmanuel also publicizes Emmanuel, uh, a 2013 Malayalam comedy drama directed by. Laljos. Laljos. And produced by S. George. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like he has done. Um, you can let us know how that film is. Uh, Mamudi and uh, Fafa is really intriguing. Yeah. Um, do they have anything lined up? I hope so, man. That'd be awesome. And what was that like for Fafa to work with Mamudi? Oh, God. Obviously, we would love to. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's nobody in the industry I'd love to talk to more than Fafa. Yeah, no, it's um, like it's like somebody here working with De Niro. You know, his new film Turbo just got announced. Just Turbo, the the um, the, uh, it j the the it just got announced. The the poster. I just, it would make sense to put them in a film together now, right? Fafa and Mamudi? Yes. Absolutely. It makes sense, right? Oh. Um, bazooka. Ooh, Fafa Light. I know what you should do. What? Because Fafa could still pull it off. Plays kid? Do Hamlet. Let Fafa play Hamlet. Let Mamudi play Claudius. It wasn't that uh, Joji was. Joji was. Um, what was Joji? Macbeth. Macbeth. Um, theater of Dreams. Shine Chung. He's, he's worked with Fafa Light a few times. Shine Tom Chaco is who I'm talking about, by the way. Um. But that was cool. I, I enjoyed the video. I could I could listen to it more. Yeah, more uh, to Dolker Shama. Oh my God! Here we go. Untitled Ama Project. What is that? Oh, it's got some folks attached. There's boys, no, hold on. Sorry. Come on. This can't be real. This is not real. Yeah, there's no this, way that's this real. This must be like a like a it documentary or something. It claims that the the actors attached to this film are Mamudi, Prithiraj, Mohanlo. Tovino Thomas, Dolker. Fafa, Dolker. Dolker Salman. Yeah. Uh, no, that's no, not no, happening. No. This is like a, must be like a doc <laughs> documentary, maybe. Yeah. Dialogue, screenplay. That would be the greatest Screenplay. Cast. If this is real. No. That'd be the most epic Malayalam cast ever assembled. There's no way. That's like the Avengers of Malayalam cinema. <laughs> yeah, there's... <laughs> Speaking of an epic cast, when are we getting that uh, Prabhu film that has Amitabh and Topeka that we saw at Comic Con? I think it's May. Oh, it's that soon. I think so. Yeah, that's that makes me happy. The strike screwed up a bunch of shows here. As far as the, we're not getting White Lotus or Morning Show till twenty twenty five. I don't. Uh, it might be a film. I don't know. You guys have to let us know. Why also? Why haven't I heard more about that? If that, yeah. If you have the greatest is that? cast in Malayalam history, yeah. What is going on there? Mamudi, Mohanlal, Prithiraj, Dulkar, Tovino, Fafa, Fafa. I mean, Subin has to be in there too. I know I guess. somewhere. 
There's no way that's real. I, I, I can't imagine this. Is, it is, and that's the first. But we just happened upon it on IMDb. There's no way that's no real. way. It has to be like them going over Malayalam cinema yeah. and like talking about it. Yeah. Something like that, because that would be the greatest cast in the history of Malayalam cinema. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> God. Um, anyways, let us know. And let us know what the next uh, Malayalam film should be. Uh, for, they mentioned a lot that we hadn't seen, obviously. Yeah. So if uh, there's something Especially else. the one that was, what's the one that you said came up after we watched The Wall that was really... We talked about it. I think, yeah. Um, uh, I think it's a negative role for Mahmoudi. Mahmoudi. And he plays, uh, I believe someone said a slave owner. Uh um, and it's a really negative role. And speaking of that, for those of you who've been asking, because I've seen a ton of DMs yeah. begging us to watch Mahmoudi's new film. It's not here, guys. We're going to. Yeah. If, if you didn't see it in other reactions, we we said um, it, it was released too far away on a single screen for us to get to, considering all that's been going on in both of our lives. Two hours each way. Yeah, and a lot going on in our lives. There's there's, there's the rare occasion. Like, we did that for when he did the film with LJP and it released. We were able to get there. But for the most part, we can't make that theater. Uh, and well, we're, we're, we're probably, you had said, yeah. we're going to do it as a watch along. Yeah. Once it's available. Once it's available. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I have no doubt that the theatrical experience is better. Is better. I wanted to. But it is what it is. It happens. I, I told you, I've told you guys many times, Miley Ellum. We don't hardly get unless, like, the production house, which they did for LGP's Right. Film, Gives us a special screening. Brought it to something really close to us. And that was yeah. a very, that's the only time it's ever happened. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't, like, LG, not because he's our, our dosed. No, just, and maybe one, I mean. reached out. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I, uh, there you go. I hope it happens. But we'll do it as a watch along. Let us know. 